Hold on, let me look at. Can I look in your room? Oh my. Hi guys, welcome to the start of a very brand new vlog. My name is Namsa. If you've been here before, welcome back. If you're new, I really hope you like what you see and you subscribe. It's Friday afternoon. I saw you guys earlier this morning uh, when I went to a pot plant place. You guys should know by now that I'm obsessed with pot plants or with pots for plants. I don't know how you say it. Is it pot plants? I love those things so I wanted there's this particular pot that I want um, I'm not finding it but I am not giving up in the meantime I bought something that's very similar to what I want and I'm going to just put it up with you guys I just need to wash it first and then we'll put it on the dining room table and uh, yeah it's the little things like that that make me happy I really enjoy like home deco and just the little stuff that make all the difference around the house so yeah let's i'm thinking i might paint it the color but lulu said uh, says i must leave it like that because now everything that is like vasy in the house is gonna end up looking white which is true everything that is a vase in the house is either a glass or it's white so i don't know i'll see it blends too much with the whole dining room setup it kind of almost disappears and the logs that I'm gonna put in there also um, I feel like they will disappear but I don't know you guys will let me know in the comment section what you think I know it might not be everybody's style it's my style I like it and whoever I mean feel free to comment I mean whatever but it's not gonna change whether I like it or not but I'm interested to know what you guys think if I should change the color of the pot or if I should just leave it um, like the way it is so i'm just gonna wash it first we will let's just do this whole thing together yeah let's see let's see what i come up with so this is the one that i currently have which is quite thin uh so i wanted something with a bit of volume which is this that i got this will stay on the table this old one is going away i'm taking that one off so this is the one that i bought um like you can see it's blending with the chairs with the but I don't, I don't know, I'll see, I'll see if I can make it work. So I just need to wash it because it was sitting outside. There's a bit of dust on it. So I'm just going to wash it quickly and then we can stand it together.
Okay, so here's what it looks like. I just try to give you like the full picture. I'm not mad at it at all. It'll do for now until I find the actual one that I look for. So the one that I look for looks like this one. It's just that the mouth is smaller. You know what I'm saying? Like if I can, I'll insert a picture of what I'm talking about. But yeah, I can live with this. It's not too bad. I thought it would disappear. It's not disappearing. So yeah. Yo, let us make some dinner. Spike was Friday making burgers and uh, burgers and chips. Let's get on with it. Sunday 
It is Sunday afternoon, 20 to 3. Baby and I are just going for a quick drink. Um, we've had like our Sunday routine, went to church, came back, cooked, ate. I cooked lunch looking like this. <laughs> yeah, so now we're just going up for a quick drink. Um, just up here at Taba Echo Hotel. Uh, just a little catch up session and stuff. And then I'll see you guys there. Tuesday Tuesday yes I didn't vlog yesterday yo I didn't vlog yesterday guys you know when my husband is at home ne? we end up like doing all sorts of stuff driving around looking for I went to another pot uh, place so he, he found uh, a place for me in where's that area Mayfair that that side so we went there yesterday to go look for pots guys guys I found my dream pot I found my dream pot, right? But the price. I think it's those ceramic, they're not clay pots, they're like ceramic. Ooh, beautiful, but way too expensive. I'm sorry, I'm not doing that. I will keep looking, I'll find. So that's what we, we drove around, like we did, we did a lot of stuff, went to his site. So I just, I didn't vlog yesterday. I was like, I'm not gonna show you pots again when we went to go see pots the other day. So yeah, that yesterday was just that. Today, we woke up to, you know what? You know what I'm gonna say? We woke up to no power and all of that. So I ended up having to make a plan uh, in terms of workout because my phone died. I usually just download my uh, workouts and then I work out. Uh, you guys know how I, I do my workouts. I couldn't do that. So I decided, because my phone was dead, decided to go for a walk. So I did a 5K walk. Let's say I'm getting back to it. I'm feeling, I'm feeling safe. I'm feeling comfortable on the road. So maybe it's something I'll do like once a week 
or like on my rest days whatever i don't know i'll see and then came back and took a shower so i'm waiting for him to come back again we are going to go out so he has a meeting in kempton park I want to go to Alberton, the place that sells the coats, the, you know, the one where I bought the navy blue coat from. Actually, I bought the navy blue coat and my other two coats, the gray one and the beige one. So I want to go and look for blazers there. I want a, like I want like a brown, like a brown blazer. I want a beige um, blazer yeah i'll see uh, those are the two that i have in mind that i want to go look for um they will obviously be like men's blazers and that's the best fit for me the best look so yeah i'm gonna go there today we'll go together yeah so i just wanted to say hi to you guys i haven't spoken to you i want to show guys let me show you these flowers so i'm just gonna pick them up so that you guys you see these flowers these are the same flowers these roses are the same flowers that i got the other day from my friend i don't know if you guys remember the other other vlog when she came to see me and all the rest of them except for the pink roses so i topped these old ones up with these fresh ones look how beautiful they look you know what i find the trick is with uh flowers when you change the water now when you change water make sure to cut the stem a little bit so so when i changed the water for these ones before i put them in fresh water i cut the stems right um and then when i change the water i still go in and cut the stems again so i'm gonna cut again a little bit like there that i feel makes my my flowers last long like those flowers are still alive can you believe it so yeah i'm gonna just have my coffee i'll make a little breakfast we'll make a breakfast together after i've had my coffee and then uh change wait for mr m to come back and then we'll be on our way I'm sitting in the car waiting for for um for him to finish in his meeting and i'm just sitting here thinking how life just how differently life turns out as like as the years go by how differently things happen like how one year you, you know the thing where they say there's years of asking and there's years um where like of answered prayers I'm just sitting here reminiscing of the years of my answered prayers and I'm longing for that again, you know? One of them being a holiday. I'm sitting here thinking, yo, it would be nice to just go away for a holiday. It's our anniversary next month, September 23rd, 16 years, like officially. And um, it would be nice to go away, even if it's like a just a bush get away something not just for me but for him as well like he works so hard it would be nice for him to get a little break you know so i'm just sitting here in the car speaking to god and be like and, and just saying to him you know this one answered prayer would be nice the last time we went anywhere was in um when i turned 40 so this is 2023 in 2021 when did i turn 40 yeah, not last year, the year before. 
Um, we actually went to uh, Yezefontein and then went to Paternoster and it was beautiful glorious i am praying for that just a little bush getaway i don't mind taking the kids with so yeah i'm praying that this year we get an answered prayer holiday just a little getaway just to rest a bit and uh yeah relax our minds rest recharge you know what i'm saying but also with an understanding, like I'm saying, to some years are just years of answered prayers. Some years are years of just asking and seeking God. And uh, whatever comes, comes, you know, if we do get one, yay. If we don't, it's also okay because I understand that when the time is right, it'll happen. So, yeah, it would be nice though. Oh, I just got a earlier before we came here I just got a notification that I am on 100,000 views honey ah <laughs> oh, that is so encouraging yeah there's nothing like positive feedback you know on on stuff on just anything yeah I'm happy thanks it's you guys thank you guys for watching my videos I appreciate you guys so much like I'll never not say how much I appreciate you guys because honestly it's because of you spending your time and your data and stuff watching me and commenting and you know just a little stranger on the internet that you guys are connecting with and i'm connecting with you guys as well it's just beautiful yeah so i'm on a hundred thousand views i'm over that by now because the notifications obviously are later than when um the thing actually happens so it already happened i only got the notification now that i got a hundred thousand views and it's exciting it's encouraging once again i want to say if there's something that you want to do something that's in your heart something that god has placed in your heart for you to do and you feel the burning desire to go out and do it but you're letting fear get in the way i want to say to you do it like do it the biggest thing that holds us back in life is what ifs it's the fear that what if i fail but dear what if you succeed have you ever thought of that have you ever thought how it would look like if you actually succeeded you know my youtube channel is really exceeding my expectations my thing was to get 500 subscribers by the end of the year i literally all i wanted was to have like 500 subscribers on my youtube and you know just take it easy and god has surpassed my expectations and it's happening only because i took the leap of faith and i you know and i just did it i want to encourage you to do it whatever it is whatever if it's a business that you want to start fail forward like have a vision that even if you do fail but there's one thing about youtube i heard someone say and i concur like i agree with that 100 percent that there's no failing on youtube we we look at youtube um from a perspective of numbers as as like creators and that and i i have made it a conscious thing for me not to concentrate on numbers and to just do what i want to do do what i need to do just keep showing up and being consistent but there's so much more that I'm gaining from YouTube. First of all, I've gained a community, a community of beautiful women that love on one another and support each other and just make you feel good about yourself or for being yourself. I've definitely um, like gained another, like a, a bigger sense of confidence in who I am and that I'm good enough to, you know, show up to the world and that I've shown myself that I can do hard things. I can actually like go out into the world and and put myself out there and do hard things because it's hard sitting here talking to a camera hoping to be re received well by the person on the other end of the camera and it's proven to me that the dreams that i do have for myself are valid and that if i go after them god will meet me you know uh halfway or at my point of need wherever but i know that as long as i go out and i do what i need to do god will do what he needs to do with me so i just want to encourage you just do it like guys like do it like it's we are if you if you had plans if you go back to your vision board and you look at what the things you wanted to do for 2023 you still have a few months in the year the year is not over you can start now your new year can be now in august so that by the next 
august by august 2024 you look back and you're like yes i did it okay just because it didn't happen on the first of january it doesn't mean it cannot still happen so go out and just do it guys whatever whether you want to go back to school whether you want to start a business or you want to start a youtube you want to pursue whatever you want to pursue take it from me it's worth it even if like you don't get the results that you you're really hoping for but the fact that you it's one hurdle that you would have gone over the fact that you started you know because a lot of people dreams die here they end up here without having started so once you start it's going to be easy for you to start something else again should this one not work i don't know if you get me yeah man like it's very encouraging i'm proud of myself i want to say i'm very 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 proud of myself my husband is very proud of me he tells me all the time he sees like big things coming my way things that i'm i'm not even seeing for myself yet but he can see it and he speaks life into my dream my children see it like it's just a beautiful thing to experience and um, one thing i've always longed for in my life guys especially after becoming a mom so i mean you, you know Kempton park there's the airport is just here so the the noise and stuff okay so the one thing that i've always wanted and wished for in my life as a mom was to be an inspiration to my children you know and for the longest time i felt like i failed at that like there was nothing that my children can point at and say my mom achieved this my mom did that you know for herself and this i am doing for myself and my children are witnessing it and it's just beautiful for me it's like i'm teaching them that you can do hard things like you can go after your dreams man doesn't matter it doesn't matter what you have doesn't matter what you don't have doesn't matter what age you are like you can you know yeah guys let's let, let me see you when i get to the jacket place my husband says there's another one here in kempton park we'll go we'll check it out if say will we'll go and check it out otherwise i'll go back to my one in alberton so yeah let me chill a little bit and then maybe take a short nap and then we'll chat when he comes back. Blazers are all. Watching my page, say they miss what I gave them. I'm doing fine now. I feel amazing. I'm out of their range. Keep them guessing when they ask about us. Don't give them no time, that's how we stay up. How we up, but you stay down. Real nigga from the ad, about to pay out. Spending time, wind down, what is take out. And when I'm in them walls, you feel it in your bones. I've been on the road, this choke that I hold on your soul got me making up for days out. Got you singing tones till you lay it out It feel like what we are never fade out. Fade, out, fade out fade out, I let it ride when I usually would have rolled out Baby say please and thank you cause your love will stay down I leave the past in the past, that's all done now Show a little appreciation cause your love will stay down You know I ain't pressed for fame Cloud chasing they all lanes Trust me when I say I'm still the same They gon' understand it one day Yeah, yeah Told him that I gave him life He said, right Now we can leave from my side Oh my God Girl, you know I ain't chasing fame You caught the vibe that I'm sending you away You see that I'm still the same Real one, I'ma never change my way As long as I'm hitting it right and treating you right For love, why your exes can't get enough? Man. They trying in line, they down on their luck. Keep them guessing when they ask about us. Don't pay them no mind, that's how we stay up. Niggas DM, don't know where to leave it. I post a pic, they comments be tweaking, usually won't. But sometimes I read them, leave them on red. I swear I can't please them all. Oh. But when it comes to you, I know how to handle that, boss Even stay faithful while you was doing me wrong I let it ride 
cry when I usually would've rolled out Baby, say please and thank you cause your love will stay down I lead a past in the past, that's all done now So put that on me for my baby cause I always stay down You know down. I ain't pressed for fame Niggas cloud chasing they all lanes Trust me when I say I'm still the same They gon' understand it one day, yeah You caught the vibe that I'm sending you away You see that I'm still the same Real one, I'ma never change my way <laughs> oh, guys. Okay, let's do this Quick sticks Before I take them to the cleaners um, Okay I'm a visionary, okay? Stay with me. One thing I will always do is fold. Right? Um, what size was this? Uh, I can't. It's big. It's a big size. I don't know what size it is, but. Um, yep. Color, fit, length, everything. <laughs> uh, yeah. This was a win for me. Uh, definitely, I mean, the shoulders are definitely overlapping, but it's the look I was going for. You guys will see, you know, when I put it together, it'll make sense. But yeah, I just wanted to show you the first one. I, I, I ended up leaving the other blazers. This was. Okay, let me show you the design. If you can see, it's got a bit of a check vintage. It's remi it reminds me of my grandfather somehow. Like he used to wear blazers like this. And back then I was a baby. I didn't know. If I had known, I would have kept some of his blazers and jackets. This is definitely a, um, like a blazer he would wear. So, okay, one down. There's only two things, guys. Let me not fool you. Let me not fool you. I'm feeling sick, like around this area. But okay, this is giving me, or oh, when I saw it, I was like, soccer mom, yes, please. Rainy weather, yes, please. It's got uh, stains on the side or whatever. I don't know, a bit of discoloration, but it's fine. I can work with that. Um, yeah. I always do that to my jackets. Yeah, so this is the other one that I got. It's very light, it's like a raincoaty material. It's giving gold, um, what do they call it? Chrome, chrome, chrome. Yeah, I don't know, maybe if I stand in the sun a bit. You can see it. I hope it does come through, but if it doesn't, trust me, you're going to have to take my word for it. But uh, yeah, soccer mom, like, yeah, that's that guys. Just wanted to show you quick sticks before I put them away or get them washed, whatever. That's that. I don't know, but I think I prefer the other place, my my place, the one in Alberton, but it's fine. Um, they have they they have like a lot of the same kind of things. Like there's a there's like a, a row of like brown blazers, but those old fashioned ones with like three buttons and it flares a little bit on the side, like like rows, like a whole row of that, and then a whole row of just the same black blazer. A row. I so I don't I don't like that. I want like different unique stuff but it's fine got something so yeah i'm gonna i have to cook today i didn't cook yesterday so i'm cooking today i'm making i don't know if i'll cook with you guys i don't think i will because i'm tired cooking during vlogs and and editing that part of vlogs is very time consuming takes you very long to cook I, I don't think I'm going to do that. I don't have the energy right now, but I'm making bap, spinach, and some chicken. 
that's what they're having for dinner so i'll see you guys maybe later otherwise i'll see you guys tomorrow Guys, hi, happy Wednesday. It's Wednesday afternoon. I think it's around half past four. Today was busy. I just wanted to come and say hello. Happy Wednesday before the day ends. So woke up today and washed curtains. Ironed half a curtain. <laughs> and did laundry. And then we were busy with this wall as you may have seen so wasted three hours of the day because we thought so i washed my curtain right and then uh hang it and then when the rhino light guy came to do the wall he then i stopped because he needed the space that i was ironing in here so this was after i've ironed one curtain right now while he's busy at around like quarter past 12 so the power goes off right we assume that um maybe they load shaded us we were not on, on schedule we thought maybe the power went because it's load shedding or something with our substation or whatever right so we chill we relax turns out power was there all along it's just that the guy when he was busy with his thing he poured water in the sockets like the electrical sockets in there and our power tripped so wasted like almost half a day sitting around doing nothing could have finished ironing but anyway it's fine we are yeah it's just busy with that we're waiting for it to dry hopefully we put the paneling up tomorrow another thing i wanted to just uh, just talk about i know a lot of women will relate with me so uh one thing my husband and i are like understanding about each other him being male and me being female is that we see or hear things or understand things differently right when i say to him let us uh for instance do wall paneling and he says to me oh yeah yeah yeah, let's do wall paneling we'll do it ourselves in my head it's already done like i'm already seeing it you know i'm already seeing my panels done like the old wall down tomorrow the new wall is up for him it's like yes we'll do it i don't know when but we'll do it so like we are emotional beings like women we everything everything that we see we see with an emotional eye and they see it with i don't know what eye they see it with so we're trying to understand that when i say let's do this and he says yes let's do it i need to like allow him time kind of you know to to like for it to marinate for him to plan i don't know what happens in his mind i need to like relax myself a little bit until he's ready for us to do it so that's why this thing has taken like a few weeks but anyway excited it's happening wall is rhino lighted it's gonna dry up and then i think tomorrow if not tomorrow friday we'll put up the actual paneling and paint it and 
I'll have my wall. So yeah, I just wanted to say hi guys and uh, yeah, we'll chat again tomorrow, I guess. If there's nothing happening tomorrow, if, if the house still looks like this because it's a mess, then we won't talk tomorrow, we'll talk on Friday. So yeah, have a lovely Wednesday. Hello everybody. Good morning guys. Happy Friday. Guys, can I warn you if you are if you want to do paneling on your walls, eh? Make sure that you triple measure you check like the like your walls how straight your walls and stuff are your last last jv like we were done i insert a picture 
we, we, we did everything last night. We painted the wall, put up the, the paneling, and everything looked beautiful, okay? And then also because my husband is an architect, so his eye for straight lines is very like particular, right? So he decided this morning that it's not looking as straight as he wants it. So we've removed uh, parts of them. So our wall slants, so our wall goes like this way a little bit. You won't really see it if you're not paying attention, but because like I'm saying, his eye is like, like the line has to be straight like this. So we're redoing that part, but we are done. I'll show you just now what it looks like now. Then I just need to put up, put the curtains back up. I'll show you just now. And then we are done with that. It looks very beautiful. I'm happy with it. After we fixed it, it'll look very nice. Other than that, I just want to tidy here, tidy up, um, do a quick workout because we need to be out the house. Uh, it's, I think it's like 10 past 7 now. We need to be out of the house at half past 9 or at 9. We want to go see my mother-in-law. She's not feeling well. So I'm rushing this morning. But you and I will chat nicely this afternoon because, guys, I love you, man. I love you guys. Like, literally, I love you. Let me be busy. Let me show you quickly what this wall looks like now and then get on with my day, okay? So this is what it's looking like again at the end it's slanting a little bit which is making this one here also slant so he's uh, just going to drop the kids off come back we fix that and then we will be out the door but this afternoon it will be done when i show you guys everything will be uh done and looking fresh guys i'm back mother in is fine she's actually better she has like a cough consistent cough that just wouldn't go away but she's fine she went to the doctor yesterday she's feeling lots better I'm trying to bake something. So we're going to see friends of ours now this afternoon, now around uh, five or so. So in my heart, I wanted to bake scones for my friend, Debo, but I don't have time and uh, I just don't have the energy, but I still want to bake something. So I thought I'd make this uh, easy mix muffins for at least her kids, Debo um yeah it's just something that was in my heart so i'm just going to continue doing that just bake something small so we're going to bake this together and you guys we hit i'm going to say we because we're in this together we hit 2000 uh, subscribers last night and uh to say i'm amazed would be an understatement i just want to say thank you guys i keep saying this i will continue saying it Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for just, just being here, you know? It's just, it's validating, it's beautiful. And all the comments that you guys put in the comment section that are just encouraging, they are, they're just beautiful, man. Just, just beautiful. Enough of the preaching. Moral of the story is we hit 2,000 subscribers and it's you guys. So thank you so much. And everyone who's new, who does tell me in the comment section that they're new to the channel and they're enjoying the content, I, I hope you continue to like the content and you stay and we just, you know, we have a, a beautiful camaraderie of just beautiful, just beautiful women. So let's bake.
this to 2,000 subscribers and to how many more? Two million more. <laughs> We are on our way out and uh, yeah, let us go see some friends, enjoy a beautiful Friday evening. These peeps have been asking to see, come here, come tell the vlog. Every time we go out and we see our friends, these ones, and okay, it's mostly this one, they will ask us, when are we seeing our friends? So, today they get to see their friends. So, our friends' kids are their friends. So, are you happy? <laughs> yeah, bye guys. We'll see you. I'll, see you I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. I don't think I'm gonna vlog. No, I'm not gonna vlog. I'm not gonna vlog at people's houses. I'm not gonna do that. So, I'll see you guys tomorrow.